Hey everyone, it's Samia. Right now I'm going to be doing a little book review for Arson by Mia Asher. So this book, let me just start off by saying I gave it four stars. I really enjoyed it. Surprisingly, because I was a little skeptical going into it because the back. Let me just read you the back. It's really short, it's really sweet, and it's straight to the point. So it says, one glance was all it took. I'm a cheater, I'm a liar, my whole life is a mess. I love a man. No, I love two men, I think. One makes love to me, the other sets me on fire. One is my rock, the other is my kryptonite. I am broken, lost, and disgusted with myself, but I can't stop. This is my story, my broken love story. So, off the top, she comes out and says she loves two men and she's a cheater. And so, my absolute biggest pet peeve in books is cheating. And so the fact that I picked this book up is a little surprising to me, but... I don't know why I enjoyed it so much. It was a really good book. I, okay, so let me just break it down a little more. So the characters. So we have Catherine, Ben, and Asher. Those are like the three main characters. We also get introduced to Amy, which is um, Catherine's friend, but she's kind of just like meh. So Catherine and Ben have been married for like 10 years or 6 years or they've been married for quite some time, you know. They've been in love ever since. And Arson comes into the story and she, in the beginning, hasn't been very happy with her marriage. And she's been going through a lot and so having Arson come into the picture, it was just like, it really just threw everything off. And Arson is, you know, a little bit younger than her. Lots of fun, you know, goes out and parties, has always all these girls. He's pretty, like, well-known with the paparazzi and, like, the tabloids and stuff. And I don't know. I wanted to dislike Catherine so much, but I didn't. She was just going through so much, and I could see how much she was struggling. And the thing that really, I think, made me okay with this book was she knew exactly what she was doing was wrong. She knew she was wrong. She told herself she's just, she's like, I feel disgusting. I feel horrible. I do this. I do this. I know I'm wrong. I'm disgusting. And she admitted to everything. Although she kept doing it, she was completely 100% aware that what she was doing was wrong. And I think that's where it made a little bit of a difference because so many times in book there's cheating and like people don't feel remorseful they don't feel bad they're just like whatever and that grinds my gears i mean cheating altogether grinds my gears like just leave the person it's not like leave the person because you are going to cause them so much heartache in the end anyways and so i wanted to dislike her i wanted to so bad but i just couldn't i could not dislike her i I, of course, I didn't agree with her choices, but I could see where she was coming from. I could see her struggling and I could see how much she didn't really want to do it, but she, I don't know, she just was just, I don't know. And Ben, it's not like he was a bad character and he like was horrible to her or anything. Like he was so sweet, so sweet. And throughout the book, it goes like flashbacks from when they, her and Ben were like first meeting and first dating and stuff. And that part kind of got to me because the whole book, it's just showing you how of how much of an amazing person Ben is. And it would be like a chapter of how sweet and how awesome and how caring Ben is. And then it'd be like her with Arson. And it's just like, it's making it hard because like, I felt so bad for Ben. And because he just, he didn't deserve it. And she knows that. She knows that he didn't deserve it and that she was wrong and that he is sweet to her. And Arson is a little different. He's, you know, younger. He's kind of like that playboy that, like, goes out with all the girls, goes to parties, you know, one night stand this. All the girls know that they shouldn't expect anything. And I feel like he totally just puts on this face, you know. Of course, that's not who he wants to be known by. He doesn't like being known by that. He doesn't like being judged and stereotyped and all that. And I just feel like he, sh he put on this face. And at times, we could see a different side to him, a very caring and sweet and very understanding side but I feel like we didn't get enough of that in this book. I just felt like we didn't really get to see his true character because he was always hiding it and it's like just break free and be who you are because this other person that he was it just wasn't that 
great, you know, the tabloids didn't like him, people were like always judging him and it's just like I really wish that he, you know, was able to step out of that and be who he really wanted to be. He definitely showed her his true colors though and how caring he can be and understanding and sweet and I really did like that. I didn't exactly love the ending. I thought it definitely needed more. Like there could be a whole nother book on the ending of this and I just think like it definitely needed more and I don't know if this is part of a series. I don't believe it is. I would love some more, some more explanation, some you know farther in the future where these characters end up and I just I needed a little more. But nonetheless, I really did enjoy this book. I was very surprised at how much I enjoyed it. It was just a different read for me and I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know my thoughts. I just I I didn't know how to rate the book because I was like so back and forth, but in the end I realized that I you know, again, I can understand where she was coming from. I did feel so bad for her because she was going through so much struggle. And, you know, she admitted everything, and so that was a big thing for me. But, anyways, yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this book, if you would ever pick it up. Let me know if you've read this book and you would like to talk about it. Just make sure you leave a, like, spoilers ahead section so that way people know. I would just love to talk to you guys about this book. If you've read it, if you haven't, if you have any more questions on it, if you want to know my thoughts, maybe you don't even want to read it and you want to know what happens, I totally, as long as you're okay with it, I wouldn't mind spoiling it for you. But yeah, so let's talk in the comments. I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.